What drives a man to do the things that he does? For some, it's for money. For others, it's for their passion. But for the class rep, it's love. But is this love really worth it? That is the question that this manga asks us. Extraterrestrial Secrets is a manga created by Hamita. Out of all his previous works, I think that Extraterrestrial Secrets might be his most unique creation to date. We start off with an introduction of our main character, the class rep. Like every anime main character out there, he loses his parents in an accident and is understandably depressed about it. The person who comes to cheer him up is the school outcast and our heroine of the story, Haru Tamachi. With a little pep talk, our main character finds the will to live again and even confesses to her only to find out that she's an alien. Huh? From there, they live together and he does his best to keep her identity a secret while teaching her how to be more human. From my first impressions, this seems like a typical romance manga. An alien learns to be more human and ends up falling in love with one. You know, kind of typical stuff. <laughs> Stories like these usually end with a happy ending with the lesson being that no matter the differences, love is what matters. So is this the case for this story? I can't say for sure, but as you continue reading it, you realize that things might not go that way and that the story is starting to get darker. So let's do an analysis. From the beginning, we see that our main character is in a very dark place. He just lost his parents and no one is there to help him, leaving his mental state at its lowest point. Something that I found interesting while rereading the chapters for this video is that everybody in it never refers to him by his real name. Everybody just refers to him as class rep. In a way, having everybody around him not refer to him by his real name makes us see how disconnected he is from the people around him. So when Haru enters the picture, we would think that since they started going out, she will call him by his real name, but even she calls him the class rep. Over time, we're meant to believe that they'll eventually grow closer together, but here's the thing. We don't really know how Haru feels about him. All we know is that she said yes to him so that he doesn't blab about her secret. We don't know if she truly cares for him or what she's actually thinking about most of the time. All we know so far is that she's been sent to Earth in disguise as a human in order to collect information. Her actions are what she thinks a human should act, and she'll do whatever it takes to make sure that her mission succeeds, even if it means killing a classmate. And so because of that, we slowly start to see him go insane from her actions with one panel even showing the mental state of where he's at. His guilt and negligence, thinking that everything could go back to normal if he just lets Haru handle everything, comes bursting out in this page. And as more chapters start to come out and we learn more about Haru, you question whether his actions are justified. You question whether all this pain and trauma is really worth it. You question if this love is healthy and if everything is worth it in the end. So, what are my final thoughts on this manga? Like I said before, this manga is very different from his other series. They were mostly generic romance mangas that had a twist to it, but were never anything really special. His art is definitely what stands out the most to me, and is personally my favorite part. The manga's emphasis on psychological suspense and gore is what really makes it stand out compared to both his previous works and other romance mangas that came out during that time. I never know whether someone is going to die in the next chapter first, or if Haru is going to make the situation worse than she already has. If this sounds even remotely interested to you and if you're tired of just generic romance manga, then yeah, I recommend you guys give this a read and let me know if you guys liked it or if you find it really bad. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, yeah, stay safe.